so guys in this video we're going to be building the add new user functionality and i told you in previous video that i'll be using a model for this and uh, when i click this i want a model to pop up and yeah so uh i should just close this So if you should come over to Bootstrap, um, to Bootstrap website, um, Bootstrap 4, if you click on this, this will bring out a model, and uh, yeah, this is what we actually want. So I'm just going to um, copy this and go back to my file, and right here I'm going to add it. I will still call this great user. So hopefully this makes sense. And uh, the next thing I'll do is actually copy the whole of this right here and uh, I'll paste it right here. So hopefully all this makes sense to you. If it doesn't, please read more about bootstrap now uh, right here now i think uh where's the button where's the button where's the button um I think so I think that is okay so if we should refresh uh, one thing uh, create user so that's not the spelling for user so create user so model uh, let's just say create user so um, yes uh, we need to make this, copy this, paste this. So, if we should refresh. Yes, so if we should click this right now. So, we're not getting the mode there. So if I should copy this and uh, come over here, great model. Everything looks okay, but just for one thing, uh, if you should go over to the documentation, this toggle this model type model type button. And now, uh, yes, so this should be in the button. Uh, it's actually not in the button, so this should be in the button. And uh, so let's just specify a type. The type should be button. So uh, let's just wait for that. It hasn't compiled, so I don't know. The VGS keep crashing. So let's just refresh this now. And let's see that. So so we have the model and uh yeah, so this looks good. And um, the next thing we actually need to do is create is to create the form. So if we should go to um Yes, to create the forms, and so if we should go to Bootstrap, uh, go put, go to Bootstrap and go to input, you see um, some couple of forms right there. And now, uh, for the sake of this video and the time, I'm just going to copy the project files. I'm just going to copy the HTML from the project files, and uh, yeah. So I'm going to pause this video, and I'm going to do that right now. So I've copied 
So I have copied the project files and I have the form right here. And the next thing I actually need to do is is uh and I'm just going to comment this out for now. I'm going to comment this out and I'm also going to comment this out for now. So the next thing we actually need to do is to create the form and I'll say for new form. I think uh, this so I'm going to create the form now and this right here. So in this form I want some I want the name I want uh I want to get the name I want to get the email the phone number the password yeah so I'm just going to do that and I'll say name this will be empty for now just going to copy and paste this and say phone I'll say password, I'll say email. So the next thing we can also do right here, I need permissions and I need row. So I'll say permissions because I want to assign permission to the permissions to the user so yeah the permission is going to be a list of array and i'll say row i also want to assign row so the role is just going to be a string and then that's it for now i think we have the name we have the email we have the phone number we have the role we have the password and we have the permissions so that's it for now and uh So let's just preview this and see if we should refresh. So we have that and if we should click the model, so we have the name, let's just close this. We have the name, we have the email, we have the phone number and the password. And uh, this is actually nice. And we need to we need to get our permissions and put it inside this model and we need to get our roles too because we want to assign the roles and permission to the user. So to do that we need to make some address call and uh, right here we can say get this will be get roles. And uh, this will be Azios. And this will get rows. And this will actually be get all rows. So similarly to what we did to the get users, so we have response. Response. And this will go over to be a function. And this dot rules equal to response dot data dot rules. So hopefully that makes sense. And uh, yeah, that that would be all. And the other thing we can do is also get the permissions. So if we should copy this and say get permissions. So get permissions and this will be permissions. So let's just create those variables and this will be rules. This will be an empty array. This will be permission. And this will also be an empty array. So uh, let's just call those function whenever this 
I mean, this component is being created. Let's just say get rows. This dot get permissions. So let's just create this route and just create the functions. So um, let's just say. So let's just call this get all rows and this get all permissions. And this we use the row controller. Why this we use the permission controller? So uh, if we should go over to those. So let's start with the row controller. So let's start with the row controller. So So let's create that function and say public function. This will be get all, and this will be dollar sign rows as usual. This will be this, this. So if you remember why we're using this, good. If you don't, check our previous video, and this will be all. So uh, let's just return a response. So the return response. And this will be a JSON response. And we can actually go over uh, and say status code is equal to 200. And this will be rows. Dollar sign rows. So that's that. You guys should copy this. And come over to permission controller. Let me just say permission controller. Permission controller. And right here, let's just paste this right here. And get to all this will be permissions. This is actually permissions. Permissions. Uh, yes. Permission all and uh, this will be permissions. So hopefully we did everything correctly. So let's just try uh, keep an eye on the network tab and let's refresh this page. So So we get we get the rows and we got the permissions. So let's check our variables. User. So we have the variables in the we have the objects and the array in the variables, which is good for us because that's what we wanted. And uh, if we should come over to the user. I just close this. So we should come over to the users. And uh, I'm using I'm using Bootstrap View for this. So this is another uh, component you can use in Bootstrap View. It's the form select, and this we actually take the rows. We take the whole array and actually put them in in selling the select options so this will take the rows the rows so if we should refresh right now let's just refresh this and see so we have the we should have the rows we have the rows right here and we can just create a new user and click this row click on the row we want to give the user and uh, we can also have we can also have uh, 
what is it called we can also have uh, permission so if you should go over here and uh, comment this still the same thing so you should go over and say refresh so we have the permissions i guess so this is this is permissions because we've created the very good permissions so let's just copy this and paste it right here so i just paste this right here and refresh and let's see how that works out so we have this uh, let's refresh so yeah, we can get those changes so yeah so we have the permissions so whenever we're creating a new user we can just click on permissions click on permissions click on permissions and just go back to the this and this is actually what we want so but for now there is a there is a little error here which which and that is it and that's this the i want a an option to show you i don't want it to be black so to fix that it's actually simple you just have to go over to the row and say and the default let the default to be one so this will take the first option and put it right here so whenever we load this page so we should refresh and see that um we're not getting that and let's just see what's going on and we should go over to our view check this out Font. the role is one let's see what we get in here um let's get see what we get in the rows the rows the first one is let's see the id the id is three so let's just go over and change this to three and um i want to advise you to do this i will advise you to find your most suitable way uh, but for now i'm just going to use this because it's the fastest solution i can suggest so we should click this right now so we have that admin right here so you can now select the type you want so um another thing yeah that's it and now uh, i guess the next video we can actually get to save this user yeah another thing we need to change this name and we should come over here i think that should be easy and just change it to create user so that's it and uh, if we should refresh right now uh, let's refresh again so click create okay we actually have that create right here so um this is all for this video and now uh, if you haven't subscribed if you're new to this channel please subscribe and turn on notification and i'll see you in the next video bye